introduction and uh, that might work. And so uh, I'm very happy here in Nimitz for the first time and uh, I thank the organizers to give me this uh, talk opportunity. So today I will give a talk on transnormal functions and transnormal systems. And uh, this is a very elementary uh, talk and very classical talk. So <laughs> uh, I hope everybody can uh, uh, understand my talk, but uh, uh, don't hesitate to ask me every time when you have a question. So uh, from the first, uh, I introduce Uh, uh, the transnormal function first, but uh, before that, we always consider a complete uh, connected Riemannian manifold. Uh, connected sometimes it is open, sometimes it is closed. Anyway, we consider complete Riemannian manifold. And uh, as uh, uh, some of you have already uh, uh, talked about cohomogeneity one action, uh, of some uh, uh, isometric group G. And in this case, uh, there exists a singular variation on M by uh, G orbits. And uh, this is a singular variation. And because uh, uh, this is a cohomogeneity one, the uh, orbit space is of dimension uh, one. So this is uh, just a real number, maybe. So in this case, the projection of this variation to the uh, leaf space can be uh, considered as a function function from M to R. Now we generalize this uh, situation to uh, hypersurface variation, not necessarily uh, homogeneous. So we consider this a uh, uh, hypersurface. not necessarily uh, homogeneous. And we also consider this is a, a singular variation. Then, uh, because this is a hypersurface, we have also uh, some uh, projection to this, if we denote this by N, then uh, in this way as a one-dimensional uh, space and uh, we can consider this is also a function from M to N, from N to uh, the real number. Not yet, not yet. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, please uh, be uh, patient. So uh, this is our, my situation. And uh, why I consider such a uh, thing is because uh, there is an uh, expected advantage. This is, uh, for instance, one advantage. Maybe if we have a PDE for some uh, characterization of the space M or characterization of the space N or characterization of metric something, uh, if we have a PDE on M, then sometime we can reduce this partial differential equation to ordinary differential equation on uh, real, uh, one variable real uh, equations. So uh, many results are given already by using such situation, uh, uh, mainly using cohomogeneity one action. So uh, if we generalize uh, this situation into the non-homogeneous case, maybe we have more 
uh, uh, work. So I consider this situation. Now I consider the definition. By definition, uh, let's consider the, because these are all considered as a function. So uh, we assume uh, this is a smooth function. Smooth, maybe C2 is okay, but I write C infinity. It's called a transnormal function. Function. If and only if we have a <coughs> such a square norm of the gradient vector of this function, it's a function of f itself, where uh, b is the function of the range of f to real number. So we consider here, from here, to another function, b, to here. And we assume this b is a c2 function. In this case, uh, uh, the function is called the transnormal function, and I denote it TN function. And uh, if we, uh, F satisfies another condition, an isoparametric function, if uh, in addition to one and uh, two, the second condition, the Laplacian of F is also a function of F itself, where uh, A is a function, again, from the range of F to uh, R, so this is just continuous. So we have another function here, A. When it, if these two conditions are satisfied, then uh, the function is called isoparametric function, and I write IP function. And what does it mean, the, this uh, condition? So this condition means the level set. We, if we consider, uh, here we take some number t, then this is uh, uh, written as a f inverse t because this is a uh, leaf over this one. So, uh, and along this leaf, b is constant. B, b is just bt, so this is constant. So, along this uh, leaf, the gradient vector has the same length everywhere. So, this means that the leaves are mutually uh, level sets. And T are mutually uh, parallel. So parallel means in the normal direction, uh, the distance between two leaves are constant. So the transnormal function have such a property. So every level set has parallel to each other. And what does this uh, condition mean? Then here, at the, if we restrict again to this uh, level set, then the Laplacian is constant. So this means that every, leap, every uh, level set every uh, n t has constant mean curvature. So Laplacian means uh, the mean curvature, so it has constant mean curvature. Of course, uh, we on consider only the uh, regular uh, value uh, level set of regular value. So this is the definition of uh, transnormal function and the isoparametric function. And uh, this uh, uh, transnormal function uh, has a very good uh, property on the 
property uh, of the uh, each level set. So I introduce you what property they satisfy. Yes. Ah, so I, I add third definition. Uh, for if we are given a transformer function, then we put V plus to be the set of point on which F takes its maximum. And uh, V minus to the set at which the set of points at which uh, the minimum value is attained. And we call these two uh, subset of M as focal variety. And be careful that uh, even this is a, a so called uh, so a critical uh, value, but this focal uh, variety is not necessarily of co dimension greater than one. Sometimes it is co-dimension still one. So uh, maybe this is uh, not necessarily connected and not necessarily co-dimension by one. So uh, co-dimension one case occurs. I will give an uh, explicit example later. And then a very important uh, fact was shown by uh, Chin Min Wang. This is given by very long ago. Wang. And he showed that each level set, set of transnormal function is a regular submanifold. Ah, sorry, uh, this is not, the, this is Bolton. <laughs> this is 87. Thank you, thank you. Uh, each level set of the transnormal function uh, is a regular submanifold. This is very important. So just uh, from uh, this uh, relation, the regularity of the level set are uh, all uh, guaranteed. So even if this uh, degenerate to a lower dimension, uh, this is still regular. And also the, I write in an explicit way, so. Each level set of a regular value is a tube over uh, a component of of this focal variety, either of focal variety. So if we have some uh, here, the component of P plus or minus, then this uh, hypersurface is a tube, tube over this uh, focal variety. Ah, yeah. So, and we call this level set a uh, foil. If the, the co-dimension n is one and uh, a singular foil. <coughs> if the co-dimension is greater than one. 
So this is the definition of foil and singular foil. And the another fact obtained by Team One is the set of singular foils. are contained in the critical set of F and this is also contained in uh, focal variety. So in this case the uh, level set even if this uh, level set degenerates so this is uh, belong this belongs to here and it implies that this well, along this level, uh, the uh, derivative of f vanishes, and uh, it occurs only when f takes maximum or minimum. So this is non-trivial, and uh, this is a very important uh, Chimimon's result. Now I'll give an example, explicit example of. Uh, uh, transnormal and isoparametric functions. And this is very, very easy to understand. So I will give five examples. So first example is on Euclidean space. M is a uh, Euclidean space and F is given by the square norm of the position vector and G is given by the cosine of the norm of the position vector. Here it's X is uh, of course uh, point of Rn. Then uh, it is easy to see that this gradient is 2x so this square norm is 4 times f and the Laplacian is 2 times f. So uh, f is an uh, isoparametric function. Isoparametric function. Parametric. And in this case uh, the g, uh, I don't write the gradient vector but this satisfies uh, the sign, this is the only the sign x square, so this is just 1 minus g square, but this is a little bit uh, uh, complicated and this is transnormal, but not isoparametric. So uh, be careful. However, uh, the level set of F coincide with the level set of G. Of course these are just a uh, uh, hyper here of any radius. So uh, this is very remarkable because even if we, ha we are given such a singular foliation, the expression of this function is not unique. And uh, sometimes it is uh, isoparametric, sometimes it's not isoparametric, so uh, be careful. And the second uh, example is given by a uh, two dimensional rotational torus. Now we give the torus in the Euclidean three space as usual with radius r. And uh, here is a coordinate just a rotational uh, torus. And if we give a function to be the height function in the uh, that direction, then of course this is a linear function, so this is an isoparametric function. With this, uh, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> this is restricted to the torus, so, so this is not so 
easy. <laughs> I'm sorry. So in this case, the gradient is given by f square and the Laplacian is given by but these are all uh, function of f. So this is a isoparametric function. And the focal variety is given by one focal variety is a top circle here. And another focal variety is a bottom circle here. And the uh, level set, regular level set, appears outer circle and inner circle too. So uh, this uh, level set, regular level set, is uh, a S0 tube over V plus or and minus both. So uh, here is the, the one theorem. Every level set of a regular value is a tube over a component of V plus minus. So in this case, uh, this red part is a focal, one component of focal variety. And the uh, regular level set is a tube over this Yeah, focal variety, is it okay? So there are two points uh, to each. If we uh, take such points, then there is uh, two, uh, two points corresponding to <laughs> as a tube, tube. So this is a two point. S0 is a zero dimensional sphere, so it consists of two points. So. This is a tube over this uh, circle, the label set, uh, double cover of this tube, this focal uh, variety. And the third example is a Mabius strip, <coughs> no orientable case. So Mabius strip is written in this way, and uh, the expression is given by 0, 1, identify this y to minus y. So uh, m is the interval times the r uh, where 0, y is identified with 1 minus y. This is a maybe st strip. And then uh, the uh, function we, we consider is x, y, it's just y square. Then it is easy also to show that this is an isoparametric function. And what is the focal variety? In this case, of course, the minimum is attained by zero, so we have such S1, this is a focal uh, variety, only one. And what is the regular level set? This is a double cover of this red circle. So it go in this way. So this is the regular values. So also uh, by one theorem, we have uh, uh, S, this is a, uh, this is a S0 tube over uh, V minus. So even in the non-orientable case, we can uh, consider in this way. And the fourth example is very easy and well known. So M is the sphere and consider an uh, isoparametric function the sphere uh, which is the easiest one. <laughs> easiest one is just the height function that 
this is an isoparameter function, very well known. And of course, the regular level set is a hypersphere. And the default variety is this is V plus and this is V minus. So this re level set is a tube over this point. And this is uh, uh, easy and uh, if we write in an explicit way, then we take here theta and f is given, f uh, theta is given by cosine theta. Yes. So uh, this is very well known. And then we consider a real projective space identify with identify the antipodal point of the sphere. Then this uh, function is of course an uh, odd function. So if we consider g to be the square of f, then this is a function on the real projective space. And the isoparametric condition is a local, so uh, this projection is a local uh, isometry. So if this is a, a isoparametric, f is isoparametric, then this is isoparametric. And what is the uh, focal variety? So in this case, here is R, P, N, and one focal variety is here, P, V plus, and another one is here. Here is, uh, of course, uh, identified the antipodal point, so this is a totally geodesic, and minus one. So this is V minus or plus, I, I, I'm not sure which. Uh, this is maybe, yeah, plus and this is minus. And the regular level set is uh, n minus one dimensional sphere. And of course, this is a tube over this point or the double cover of this focal submanifold. So this is a tube, tube over P or S zero tube over uh, V minus. So these are very, very uh, elementary, fundamentally important examples. So please keep this uh, part until the end of my talk. Yes. Okay. In general, the square of isoparametric function is the transnormal function. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, uh, not, uh, not isoparametric function. Uh, not necessarily, not, not necessarily. Yeah, yeah, but transnormality is okay. Square, square. Yeah, yeah. And then I'll give uh, the next uh, definition of transnormal system, not function. One, two, three, transnormal system. This is uh, uh, the definition is given by John Bolton. He investigated the fundamental characterization in 1973. So what is the transnormal system? I will write the uh, explicit definition. We denote by script F is a partition of M into a connected uh, submanifolds.
called foils so that any geodesic segment of M cuts the foils as uh, I already call the uh, level set of a transnormal function as foil, so I put quotation here. Foils, so uh, orthogonally. at none or all of its point. So I will explain this situation. So we consider a family of uh, such uh, a submanifold. This is not necessarily hypersurface, just a submanifold. And uh, if we consider a ge no, geodesic of N, geodesic gamma, then if it uh, cuts some leaf, some uh, foil orthogonally, then it cuts always orthogonally. <laughs> and if it does not cut orthogonally, it always uh, cut not orthogonally. So, so this means at none or all. So this is the definition of transnormal system. And uh, if it's called non-singular if all the foil has con uh, constant dimension and uh, of course uh, singular otherwise So uh, this is the definition of transnormal systems. So uh, yeah. So uh, we can immediately see that if we are given a transnormal function, then we have a transnormal system. So if f is a transnormal function, then the uh, level set, all the level set of this transnormal function uh, generate a transnormal system. But later I'll say that inverse is not in, uh, necessarily true. So, uh, next, yeah, I will give a very important uh, basic fact given by John Bolton. So first, uh, if uh, F is a transnormal system, on M, then uh, first, if F is non-singular, then M is diffeomorphic, ah no, M, F foliates M, so there is a foliation of course. M with bundle-like metric. This is uh, mentioned by yesterday's talk by John, so I don't uh, explain. Anyway, yeah. And uh, so non-singular case is uh, uh, okay. And second, if F contains a singular uh, Foil Q, we denote by Q, then uh, we denote by CQ the conjugate locus of this Q. So this is the 
image of exponential map of the conjugate locus locus of Q. This is the, and the normal bundle of Q and uh, uh, mapped by exponential map. Then this is a conjugate locus. And uh, if, uh, ah, I forgot something. Yeah. I denote, sorry, I forgot sub-definition. For some foil F, we denote by a N T F is a point on M of which distance from F is T, just T. So this is a um, X is given by exponential T Z pop where Z is a normal vector of F and the uh, uh, Z is a uh, unit. And also we write N smaller than AF to be the exponential T Z, Z as before, and T is in zero A. And N smaller than or equal to AF is T is in closed interval. So, uh, and uh, if uh, A is very small, this is just an open disk bundle of uh, F. So this is an open disk bundle of F. And this is a closed disk bundle of F. So we denote in this way. Then, in this case, if A, uh, yeah, if this, this conjugate locus is empty, then in this case it's, it's easy. M is diffeomorphic to some vector bundle over Q. And if this conjugate locus is Q itself, then M is diffeomorphic to this uh, A, maybe we write smaller than A, a disk bundle with just A. Uh, I will explain later <laughs> in detail. And uh, if CQ, the conjugate locus, is Q prime, which is not uh, coincide with, which does not coincide with Q, then M is diffeomorphic to two disk bundles over Q and over Q prime. So M is uh, decomposed into two disk bundles. And here A, a is the, sorry, uh, in this case, if we start from this point and consider a normal geodesic, it cuts another uh, Q in another point, and uh, this is the distance between these two adjacent points. And in this case, this is in this case, and this case we have two Focal uh, sing singular uh, foils, and this is the distance between two uh, singular foils. By using such a, we can uh, uh, characterize the uh, manifold with transnormal system. And then, uh, in this case, this in some sense correspond to this one. Or, example, this is just R cross N, just a formation or just a product manifold in this case. Or, uh, this case is uh, considered as a, uh, in this case, also. And uh, 
what does it uh, how it corresponds to this one it of course corresponds to this maybe strip case and this case this is a uh, vector band over a point so this case example is given by one and three and this case this is the disk bundle with boundary. So this is just a disk case. Here is a disk bundle with boundary. So uh, this corresponds to this five fifth example. And this case is well known by Munzner's theorem, the uh, uh, isoparametric function on the sphere decompose the sphere into two disk bundles so, so uh, it corresponds to case four so this uh, classification of uh, characterization of manifold Riemannian manifold with transnormal functions so now uh, I have some questions on the relation between transnormal functions and transnormal systems So I have already written here that transnormal function implies transnormal system. So how about the converse? So program four, five, example, three, four. and uh, uh, some answers. So first question, for a given transnormal system F on M, is there exist transnormal function such that this uh, level set gives the given system. This is a, a first question. And I, as I said before, this is in general no. Because there is a, a very famous uh, example of the irrational flow of torus. In this case, this is a, a transnormal system because the geodesic cut some uh, flow orthogonally, then it always cut the uh, foil uh, orthogonally. So this is a transnormal system. But the flow is dense, so there exists no function which gives this uh, level, uh, this uh, set as a level set. Foil is dense. So in general, we cannot expect the existence of a transnormal function. But if we assume that the transnormal system has a topologically regular leaf, so, so foil, so if F is a transnormal system with topologically regular foils, which means that, namely, each foil has relative topology, then uh, the answer is yes. 
So there exists a transnormal function which gives uh, the transnormal system. And uh, the idea of the construction of this transnormal function is contained in these two functions. So idea, I just uh, write idea. So we use such function x to some foil, any foil, square. In order to keep the differentiability, we put here square or enclosed case, we need some periodicity like that. Here is the periodicity. So we put cosine some constant with distance function from uh, f. Okay, some constant. Then of course, we need to uh, investigate the differentiability or uh, the equation uh, of uh, the transnormality. But uh, the idea of constructing the function is uh, just these two examples. So this is the first uh, problem. And the second problem. You, yes? You can take any foil. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, maybe it's better to take uh, singular foil, but uh, maybe there are no singular foil. So, so yeah. Yeah. So we assume there is a topologically regular. So there are no dense foil. Yeah. Fixed. Maybe it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Blue, the blue one, yeah. yeah, yeah. So, so if uh, there is a singular, a singular foil, it should be. Yeah, you are right. I think so. So, if f singular, take f as a singular foil, and non-singular case any, any, any. Yeah, thank you. So the second question is when a transnormal function becomes isoparametric function. So this is uh, uh, more strong because uh, it must uh, satisfy another uh, uh, PDE. So uh, is it true? True if all the uh, level sets, level hypersurface uh, have constant mean curvature. But again, this is not True. Just look at this one. <laughs> this has uh, all the uh, levels that uh, uh, have constant mean curvature, but this function is not uh, uh, isoparametric. So this is not true. So what is wrong? So if we assume that the transnormal system satisfies uh, yeah, function uh, satisfies F satisfies the singular set of singular foil is equal to V plus the focal variety. We need this function, this condition. Then this is yes. In this case. Uh, for this uh, cosine, cosine uh, function has a focal variety at here and here and here and uh, infinitely many this, uh, this con uh, connect, uh, connected component. So it does not satisfy this condition. 
if it satisfies this condition, we can show that the uh, isoparameter, uh, transnormal function becomes isoparametric. And uh, the question, third question. So, uh, is the fun singular foil, foil of transnormal function uh, minimal? Or more strongly, austere. Austere means the second fundamental form has has uh, eigenvalues in pairs. So uh, we know in the spherical case or uh, uh, many isoparametric hypersurface case. Uh, the singular uh, foil, singular uh, focal sum manifold are all minimal. It is a uh, no measles theorem, well known. But is it true? So I made a mistake on this uh, conclusion, I'm sorry. So this is also in general no. No. <laughs> And uh, I wrote in my abstract that uh, this is true, but we need, I think, uh, this is a sufficient condition, but uh, Riemannian symmetric space is needed as an ambient manifold. Uh, manifold uh, of compact type. <laughs> uh, I, I hope. Uh, maybe it is too special, but maybe uh, in this case, uh, yes. So uh, I, I must uh, correct my abstract and uh, proceed. So we need this assumption. So I will explain why uh, we need this. So recently, Jiju uh, Tan and his students uh, gave uh, very, very good results on this uh, kind of subject. And uh, they uh, give a very uh, interesting examples of isoparametric functions or transnormal functions. So I will give some uh, expression, uh, explanation. And uh, for, uh, by uh, Gu and Tang. Yes. This is uh, uh, last year, maybe. So. Uh, if f is a, a isoparametric function on a Riemannian manifold, then this is also isoparametric on M with this metric is slightly um, changed conformally. G. Where f U is a function, again, from uh, the range of M to real number. <coughs> so even if we change the uh, metric conformally in this way, this is, uh, again, isoparametric function. So for instance, uh, we have many isoparametric functions on the uh, G of sp standard uh, metric. But if we change this metric to be conformally uh, like this, still this gives a uh, uh, isoparametric function with respect to this metric. Any, any. So this is very easy, uh, easily seen by this uh, 
calculation. Uh, I don't do the calculation, but the result is like this. Uh, this is a Lebesgue connection here, and Lebesgue connection here. And also the Laplacian is written by u prime f b f plus a f. So the right hand side is all the function of f. So this is also isoparameteric. So this is their way of proof. It's very, very beautiful. And the theorem two. This is also given by Guan Tang. Yeah. So now we consider a uh, Riemannian submersion. With minimal fiber. So this is a uh, special band, and if ah, f is a isoparametric function on the base manifold, this is a isoparametric function on base manifold. Then they show that this composition G is isoparametric on this total space. So this is another way of construction of isoparametric uh, functions. And uh, in their proof, they uh, have uh, such equation. This is uh, the so-called basic, because this is a Riemannian um, submersion. So the <laughs> The horizontal space it does not change, and so this is just pi minus. Here appear the mean coverage of the fiber. So uh, if this vanishes, then of course this is the same uh, equation as the here of isoparametric function. So, so, so. A minimality is needed. Minimal fibers. And as a special case, consider M as a product manifold. where F is a Riemannian manifold with metric GF and B is again a Riemannian manifold with metric B, GB. And consider a warped product metric on this space. So we consider G fiber plus GB. So the metric does not change in the base manifold, but uh, a, a little bit conformally changed by fiber. But in this case, the fiber is shown to be totally umbilic. This is given by also, yeah, Gu and Tang. I denote this dimension in this way. K is uh, totally umbilic. with respect to this uh, warped product. And the fiber has a cons uh, mean curvature minus k. k is the dimension of this one. Times this, ah, sorry, phi is a function on B. This is a function, any function on B. So, we can apply this uh, case to this situation because this is a Riemannian uh, submersion because the base metric doesn't change. And uh, the fiber is totally ambitic, not minimal. 
So uh, I want to uh, give why I fail <laughs> mistake. So 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 I I will explain. So uh, if we consider to take B as a sphere and uh, this uh, this is sphere and consider an isoparametric function here linear one sorry isoparametric function on here the degree one. Then we have a base manifold here is a sphere and uh, we have uh, here the just a product and this is the M B and uh, here we have a isoparametric function and this has uh, two critical points, two focal submanifold. And other uh, isoparametric uh, hypersurfaces are spheres. So uh, the Im the label set of of uh, what? Yeah, this uh, G pi uh, is singular. At uh, P cross F and Q cross F. And the regular level set is a uh, uh, sphere cross F. This is a regular level. So singular level is just here and just here. But it has uh, not minimal. Uh, minimal, non-zero mean curvature, because it is, this is uh, any function. So uh, we cannot, ex ah, ah, here, here, I'm sorry, here, not here, here. Any phi is okay here, so it does not vanish uh, here. So uh, it does not necessarily mean uh, in general. So we cannot apply this <laughs> this situation. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, so so it has not minimal fiber. And what I want to say. Ah, G is not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so 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 so. <laughs> so so I I here I assume uh, this is a transnormal function. This is transnormal function. So yeah, here is also transnormal function. So this is transnormal because this does not change. So this is transnormal, transnormal, but uh, singular foil is not minimal. So without some condition, uh, this does not hold. Yeah, uh, this is uh, all. Uh, sorry, for the Thank you very much.